Right, Bill, what word came out of my mouth last week that you did not understand? I'm playing Mario. March 31st is coming and Nintendo are going to lock off Mario. So I'm, I'm going to play as much as I can. If I want to play Mario in work, I'll play Mario in work. Leave me alone. Do you know what I mean about the game on digital, Bill? I don't know what's going to happen after March 31st. Nintendo could take it off a system, man. That's how general they are. This whole March 31st thing's pointless. I'm in the studio, I came in early, so get off my back here. Yeah? When we're ready to start filming, I'll put the switch away. Get out my ears. Susan's not even here yet, man! Where's Sandra? Bloody hell. Hello! You're watching NNN! On new Nintendo News! Uh, mm, 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 mm. This is a weekly gaming show where we keep you up to date with the latest Yes, the latest Nintendo Gaming News Nintendo Gaming News Nintendo Gaming News <laughs> On today's show We're going to be getting a bit retro this afternoon This afternoon, what day is it? I don't even know what time it is Today we're going to be going retro Oh yes, we found a few stories Yeah, I found a few stories Because Bell's still not got me these researchers So we're just going to be taking a look at that One of the greatest retro soundtracks of all time has just been released on Spotify. Go and listen to it right now. Go. Now. Listen. To it. What soundtrack am I talking about? It's the one and only... <laughs> Streets of Rage! Oh yes! Oh my days! Oh my days! The only reason why I'm talking about this is because it all links into the whole retro theme that we're talking about this morning. This morning? I don't even know what day it is. Kicking off our first story. We are going in with the Streets of Rage, you get me? Ha! Streets of Rage, I mean, we can all agree, if you're a gamer, Streets of Rage is one of the best soundtracks in video gaming ever. It's arguably the best gaming soundtrack. I mean, if you want to come and argue with me in the comments, come at me, bro. Streets of Rage and Streets of Rage 2 is just, for me, the pinnacle of video game music. Game came out and when did it, when did it come out? When did, let's see Streets of Rage. Let, let's see when this game came out, right? Because let me tell you, the music in this still sounds fresh. The music sounds like it came out in 2021. <laughs> Streets of Rage, August second, nineteen ninety one, and you got music that sounds like this. Anyway, 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 so the whole point of this story is it's just a little piece of cool news before we get to the actual retro games. The composer of Streets of Rage, Izo Koshiro, um, he did a tweet anyway, and uh, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, this is good. Right, so I mean, this guy's done loads of music. He's done music for Sonic, he's done music for Smash Brothers, Streets of Rage, Streets of Rage 2, obviously. Um, loads of, loads of games. Anyway, but there was a tweet on his account. Listen to this. In the tweet on the 10th of March, he's gone, I've been considering making some soundtracks with crowdfunding this year. With a Twitter verification which I got today, it will proceed smoothly and trustfully. Would you be interested in it? I'll be announcing once it's decided. Would I be interested in this? Hell yes! Oh my god! You need to listen to the Streets of Rage What? I can't even speak! You need to listen to the Streets of Rage soundtrack if you've not listened to it already. I like techno and all that, but that's probably the soundtrack that got me into techno. And the beats are hardcore classics, mate. Uh, 
Anyway, 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 anyway. Now the Streets of Rage music is absolutely iconic. It, it was ahead of its time. It still sounds dirty today. He's been on Twitter again, playing the original tracks from Streets of Rage on the original PC that he built it on. It's like, what's the PC called? It's called a PC-88. I mean, it, it, it looks like an old computer, but he's created some of the most impressive, amazing music in video game history on it. On this. How do you make something so great on this? The limitations that developers had on what they achieved is just absolutely incredible. They're, they're, they're doing impossible things with the f***ing four kilobytes. <laughs> Anyway, 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 anyway. L let me tell you, the Streets of Rage is on Spotify. Go and listen to that right now. Anyway, so. Moving on to the next retro game. It's not really a retro game, but it is. The N64 is classified as retro now. I'm really good at that. All my childhood gaming is now classified as retro. I don't even mean SNES and NES. I mean like GameCube. Dinosaur Planet started out as an action adventure platforming game on the N64 and when it was unveiled it looked absolutely brilliant. Uh, the graphics were absolutely amazing. Rare were on a roll coming off the back of GoldenEye, Conquered Buzz Fur Day, Jet Force Gemini. Like they, they were it was hit after hit after hit with Rare on the N64. And then they brought out Dinosaur Planet, they showed the trailer at E3. Oh my god, what is this game? It looks amazing. New IP, something fresh, voice acting. Because remember back in the day, the N64 cartridges that had rubbish memory in it because Everybody else was using CDs, but Nintendo decided to choose cartridges. So you never really had any games with voice acting on before. So when a game did come along with voice acting, I was blown away because I was like, yeah! Cinematic gameplay! Anyway, so the game came out, and well, the game didn't come out because Nintendo were like, yeah, I'll lock this game off. What's this new IP here? Nah, nah, Nintendo don't do new IP. So Nintendo scrapped effectively Dinosaur Planet and turned it into Star Fox Adventures. The reason why I'm talking about this is because Dinosaur Planet has been leaked. Oh my God, yeah! You can play Dinosaur Planet now. The game that I've always wanted to play from since 2001, was it 2000? I don't know. Should we check the state? Mm, 2002, 2002. So yeah, someone's leaked that. Leaky leaky. And yeah, I mean, someone leaked it. Someone, someone is hacking all the video game servers in the world and just uh, just releasing just bonus material things that weren't supposed to come out yet I, I don't know who's doing it but you need to stop you need to stop dinosaur planet golden eye oh, forgot about golden eye let's talk about this remake this remaster this version of GoldenEye running on Xbox bloody hardware configuration coding setups, whatever the word is. Let's just appreciate it. There are a few changes to the game. It's not a carbon copy of the N64 version. I don't know whether this was on the original Xbox Live arcade version, but when you boot up the game for GoldenEye, this appears. Are they taking the piss? They're just rubbing it in my face, rubbing it in my face. Do you expect me to remove the Nintendo logo? This is our game! That's like in primary school, do you know when you write your name and you can't on the tag so no one can steal it. And then someone steals it. And then shows you that they've stolen it. And then say, do you want me to take your name off? Don't be cheeky. Don't have the audacity to rub.
the fact that you're stealing stuff in my face. Don't do it. Don't do it! Don't, don't, don't do it! What else did the change? There's an option to toggle if you press right button and you can toggle between the remodeled, remastered, retextured game or you can switch back to the N64 game with all the bloody sharp geometry. Um, but that's comforting to me. That's comforting to me. Overall, this game looks absolutely bloody fantastic. One of the things I've also played God around the Nintendo 64 isn't a great experience. I mean, time's not been kind to that. It runs in like 12 frames per second. It's blurry as f it looks like someone spread Vaseline all over the TV screen. So when you go back to play it, the game doesn't feel like how you remember it. Playing the game with one analog stick on the N64 pad is awful. You can't straight. You do need dual analog sticks now. Come on, it's 2021. We have become accustomed to a certain way of playing our games. This golden eye remake is just merging the best of both worlds. There is no slowdown. This game is a thing of beauty. I need to play it! <laughs> And guess what's just been announced last week? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Yes! <laughs> a new game! Yeah! All the side scroll ball side scrolls are ballers! Side scroll the ballers are coming back out! Like it's, it's ridiculous! Uh, this game actually looks pretty fun. It's actually developed by the same guys who made Streets of Rage 4. Yeah. Looking at our article here, just really quick, it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is a collaboration between Dotemu, the publisher behind Streets of Rage 4, and Wonder Boy, the Dragon Shot and developer Tribute Games, which created the excellent Flint Hook and Mercenary Kings. Now, this just sounds perfect to me. First of all, Mercenary Kings, uh, I played it on the VR or the PS4. Mercenary Kings, I love side scrolling shoot em ups. Um, Mercenary Kings is a lot of fun. I, I don't know what Flint Hook is, um, but Wonder Boy is a great bloody remaster. Uh, Wonder Boy was um, the old school platforming game, and um, this developer, about well, the publisher, the Emu, um, re released it and upgraded, updated the graphics, and it just looks gorgeous, it looks stunning. And then, obviously, you've got them doing Streets of Rage 4, which was a great way to reinvigorate the franchise. Um, so, I'm kind of excited for this because there's a lot of good talent behind it. I mean, the game looks incredible. I, it, it, they've taken the old school retro 80s style from the arcade machines um, um, and done whatever they want need to do with it. Um, I'm actually kind of glad it looks like this because I remember when Streets of Rage 4 was initially announced and there was something about the graphical style that I didn't kind of vibe with. I kind of wanted something maybe raw or more stylized. Um, or if you weren't going to go down that route, I just wanted like a pixelated old school looking kind of game. And this is like looks like to be like what they're giving me. So this looks fun. I remember playing the Turtles games on the NES and the SNES, like, the, that was the golden age of the Turtles games, to be honest, the SNES era. Um, I used to play, what were they called? I need to find out the names, I need to find out the names, one second. Right, so which games did you have here now? Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, that is the one, that one was banging! Okay, so that one was sick. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant and then there was another um I had another a beat em up there was a side scrolling beat em up. No, it wasn't a side scrolling beat em up. It was a one on one beat em up kinda like Street Fighter. Tournament Fighters! Yes! No, don't play that. Yes, tournament fighters. Uh, these games were sick back in the day. Uh, I loved them. I loved them. And then you had the Ned's game as well. The Turtle Ned's game. It was absolutely solid. Um, but yeah, a blast from the past for me. Um, I'm loving all these retro games that I'm seeing right now. All these comebacks. Um, yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming out, and it looks great. I mean, I don't know why I'm getting excited because they haven't actually announced what console it's releasing on. But, I mean, looking at the game, come on, this game has to come out on everything. I know it's coming out on everything. So I'm looking forward very much to seeing...
we have time for this week. We hope you've enjoyed our show today and we will see you next week. That's all. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god. The soundtrack's too good. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>